In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to download a theme from your WordPress site, and you're also going to learn how to upload it to another WordPress site if that's what you want to do with it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. We, we hope you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your business, and for your customers. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's download a theme from our WordPress site. An interesting question popped up recently in the WP Learning Lab Facebook group, and that is how do you download a WordPress theme? If we go into Appearance and Themes, where the themes live inside the WordPress dashboard, there is no place to download them. You can activate them, you can install them, you can delete them with this button here, but you can't download them to your hard drive and transfer them to another site if you wanted to. This is not something you'd have to do with themes that are in the WordPress repository, because I can just go to Add New and then find all the themes on all WordPress sites. So these themes are shared among all WordPress sites. But if you maybe built a custom theme or if you have a premium theme that you want to bring to other sites, but you don't have access to the account where you bought it or whatever the deal is, if you want to download your theme, this is how we do it. We have to log into our hosting account and then download it from cPanel. So I'm just going to log into the hosting account for this website. Here we are on the cPanel for the hosting account for this website that we're working on. This may not look the same as your cPanel, but all the links and icons should be similar. What we want to find is one called File Manager. In my case, it's right up here. If you can't see it anywhere on yours, go to Edit and then Find and Find and then look up File Manager. It will highlight it on the page and you should be able to find it if you're using cPanel. Click on File Manager. Click on WP underscore HTML if that is visible. If that is not visible, then you're probably right into your site directory and you probably have these three folders right here, wp-admin, wp-content, and wp-includes. Those are the three default WordPress folders. All the rest of the stuff I have in here is just extra gibberish that's been accumulating over the years because I use this demo site a lot. So I've added a lot, deleted a lot, done a lot with it, and really haven't cleaned up the files in here. So don't worry about all those files. These are the three folders you should have and a bunch of files down below that are the WordPress files. And inside these folders, is where we find the themes, specifically inside WP content. Let's double click on that, then double click on themes. And here are the themes that we see inside our appearance and themes panel right here. Online consulting, Astra, Ocean WP, Ocean WP child. And here they are, online consulting, Astra, Ocean WP, and Ocean WP child. If you want to download any of these, click on it. Let's do Astra and click on compress. And then I choose zip. You can choose the other ones if you want to, but I usually stick with the zips. Then click on compress files. Then click on close when it's done. Click on reload. And now we have an Astro zip file. You can click on that and then click on download. And now it is downloaded to our hard drive. And that is how you download a theme. And if you want to upload that theme to a different website, you don't have to go through that same process. You can actually go into the theme panel under appearance and themes, go to add new and upload it. To show you how that works, I'm just going to delete Astra delete that from our site. And over here, I'm going to reload, we'll see that the folder is gone. I'll delete the zip file as well. And now we're going to upload the zip file we just downloaded, I'm going to go to add new, upload theme, choose file, find the file we downloaded called Astra right here, open that, install now. And now it's going to install this theme theme successfully installed. If I go to Appearance and then Themes, we see the Astra theme is back right here. If I go back to my file manager and refresh, we see Astra is back as well. To download themes, you have to do it through cPanel. To upload them, you could do it through cPanel as well. Just upload them into here and then decompress them. Or you can do them through your theme panel in whatever WordPress site you're uploading it to. And just to show you really quick how you do it inside of the file manager, I'll just delete Astra again. And now we're going to choose upload. We're going to select a file. We're going to upload the Astra theme. And that will upload. We can close this panel once or that tab once it's 100%. Click on reload. Here's the Astra. And over here, Astra is deleted. So if I refresh, it'll be gone. And now when I unzip this, it's going to be there. I'm just going to click on Astra.zip. Click on extract, extract files, close, reload. There's our Astra folder for the Astra theme. If I come out here and refresh, there's our Astra theme back. So that's one way you can download 
your themes from your website and two ways you can get them back onto a different website or the same one. Either way, you can do it through the themes and add new and upload or do it through cPanel to upload your themes back to your site. And next up, I recommend you check out this playlist right here, which is the WP Beginners playlist full of tutorials to help you get a solid foundation in WordPress so you can build awesome stuff. And I also recommend that you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I recommend you check out our private Facebook group, which is all about WordPress. There are thousands of people in there. We're all helping each other get better at WordPress. There's a link to that in the description down below. My name is Bjorn All, passing WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.